start by um, reading to you the letter of uh, parts of the letter of Pope Francis regarding the new evangelization. Dear friends, only conversion of heart can make our world, which is full of terror and violence, more humane, and that means patience, justice, prudence, dialogue, integrity, solidarity with victims, the needy, and the poorest, limitless dedication, love even unto death for the sake of the other. When you have understood that quite deeply, then you can change the world as committed Christians. And how would we understand it? That is the tool that UCAT wishes to offer everyone. Uh, UCAT um, Germany has prepared several books. Uh, we have one for um, confession, confirmation, the prayer book, the UCAT book, the Dukat book, and in 2018, this will be launched. 2019, this will be launched in Panama, the Bible. So, the UCAT project is a project for new evangelization. We are not forming a new association, but uh, UCAT Philippines is a tool for new evangelization. We develop and provide formation programs, activities, and materials that would cater especially for the young people. We provide opportunities and venues for integral formation and faith development in social contexts. We are not creating a new youth organization or a movement. Rather, we cater to all of them and uh, provide them sound formation programs. However, we do not hinder the birth and growth of um, those inspired organizations by UCAT and DUCAT initiatives worldwide. Actually, there are already organizations uh, that are already giving birth in uh, Brazil, Nigeria, Croatia, even in um, Ireland and other countries abroad. Uh, I would like to call uh, one of the um, messages of Pope Benedict the Sixteenth: Human life cannot be realized by itself. Our life is an open question, an incomplete project still to be brought to fruition and realized. Each man's fundamental question is, how will this be realized, becoming man? How does one learn the art of living, which is the path towards happiness? And to give you an overview of UCAT, I'd like to call the executive director of our UCAT Philippines Foundation, none other than Father Richard Lagos. Uh, this is our second time to join the AMCM. Last time was in Maguio and we are very happy to present to you again uh, development programs coming from the Yucat Foundation. So the first, this, this slide is actually coming from uh, Pope Benedict in his, I think, uh, 2000 uh, message, 2012 message on uh, about catechism, about new evangelization catechesis during the Jubilee of Catechists. You know? And for Pope Benedict, kumbaga ngayon ay gusto namin i-present tayo sa inyo. Ano ba yung pinaghuhugutan? Sabi nga, may mga hashtag hugot ang mga kabataan palagi. At ano ba yung hugot ng UCAT Philippines or ng UCAT Foundation International? Bakit tumutugon ang UCAT Foundation sa hamon at panawagan ng bagong evangelisasyon? At ito po yung pinaghuhugutan. No? Because isa yung common na hinahanap natin, and that is happiness. Alam niyo po, ramdam na ramdam ko yan. When I went to Germany, I was there for three months, almost three months, preparing for the one million for the Pope campaign. Ito yung suot-suot namin ngayon. Kasi, uh, ibinigay ng simbahan ng panibagong dokumento through uh, the Yucat Foundation, pinigay po ni Pope Francis yung Dukat. Hindi po Dukat at Dukat. Uh, this is uh, to teach our young people what to do. Kasi ito yung tanong ngayon eh, what to do? And, uh, 
matapos malaman yung pananampalataya, ano yung susunod na gagawin? So, this is actually many young people right now, bakit they are into social media? They are looking, they are looking for friends. It matters a lot kapag kayo kanilang ipinos ay maraming likes and shares. Para bang nakakapus ng kanilang moral, ang saya-saya nila, and then kapag lalo na kapag yung nag-selfie sila, at marami ang naman gusto ng kanilang selfies, maraming nakapansin. <laughs> Because basically they are looking for one thing, affirmation, appreciation. The bottom line is happiness. No? So, but for Pope Benedict, he said that to evangelize means to show The, to teach the art of living. Yung ituturo mo yung paano ba talaga mabuhay? Paano ba talaga natin mararating yung tunay na kasiyahan? That is evangelization. Yung pagtuturo ng art of living. How to really live. Ano ho? At sabi ni Pope Benedict, si Jesus mismo, doong siya ay nag-evangelize, he is the evangelizer par excellence. Ang itinuturo niya ay hindi kahapon ko ito, sabi ni Buddha, this is the way. Sabi ni Confucius, this is the way to happiness. Kung sino-sino nagsabi, this is the way to happiness. No. But Jesus said, I am the way. Jesus is the way. No? Hindi niya itinuturo na sila sabi, ako yung daan. So, it means, to evangelize means to bring Jesus, to introduce Jesus as the way. No? And uh, if this is the crisis. Sabi ni Pope Benedict, may nakita siyang isang malalim na crisis sa ating mundo sa ating lipon and that is the incapacity of joy. Kaya ang ganda-ganda ng Evangelica dun, no? It's the joy of the gospel. It's really the quality, characteristic of an evangelizer should be joyful. You cannot proclaim the, the, the love of God na magkasalubong ang kilay mo. <laughs> hindi ko pwede mag-preach ng gospel kung ang mukha mo ay parang pinagsaklo pa ng langit at ng lupa. Ano ho? Kaya isang quality ng isang evangelizer should be joyful. But ito na yung problema ka, yung incapacity of joy, no? So that's why marami ang malalim ang pinagagalingan ng kalungkutan. Parang bang nagagalan sa kaibuturan ng pagkatao, especially the people in Europe, I was in a very beautiful country, Germany, in Asia, it's in, in, the, in the region of Bavaria. Pero, may may ulap. Ulap ng saya. Ang yaman-yaman ng lugar, ang ganda-ganda, pero walang saya. Dito sa atin mahirap, no? pero ang daming nakangiti. <laughs> so, but sabi ni Pope Benedict, we need to bring the gospel in a new way. New spirits. No? So, kailangan ng bago. But there is a, a, grow, a, grow, a growing temptation sa program of new evangelization. Yung temptation na mabilis gawing mabilis ang lahat. Dapat may buka ka agad. Dapat pag nagtanim ka ngayon, bukas malaking puno na ka agad. No. Sabi po ni Pope Benedict, ang new evangelization ay parang isang buto ng musikasa. Parang nagtatanim ng buto ng musa. Nag-uumpisa po sa maliliit. And that is humility. Everything begins in humility. New evangelization begins in humility. God does not count on large numbers. Exterior power is not the sign of His presence. No? Kundi nag-uumpisa sa maliliit. Katulad ni St. Paul. No? Yung mga pagbubuo niya ng mga small Christian communities. The church started small. And then, in reality, itong mga small communities nito ay naging parang mga pampaansa. No? That later on, it grow, and then uh, naging isang malaking simbahan, naging isang malaking puno. No? So what is the method of new evangelization? Na tinutugunan, sinusubok ang tugunan po ng Yukat Foundation. Ang modelo daw po ay ang Trinity. Ano ba ang Trinity? So the sign of the sun, the sign of the sun is this, Communion with the Father. The Son introduces us into the Trinitarian communion to the circle of eternal love. So it's relationship, relational. So evangelization should be relational. Pangalawa, uh, the Trinitarian plan visible in the Son who does not speak in His name shows the form of life of the true evangelizer. Rather, evangelizing is not merely a way of speaking but a form of living. It's a way of life. 
When you commit yourself to evangelization, you give your life to it. So, una mo na napakasalaga ng prayer, the relationship with Jesus. Second is witnessing, sacrifice. Sabi ni, bakit si St. Paul very credible sa kanyang preaching is because of his sufferings, because of his persecutions, because of his trials. Sabi ni Bishop Bobet kahapon, why Digong is uh, credible is because makikita mo sa buhay niya. It's very simple. And even that, St. Augustine of Hippo said, we cannot give life to others without giving up our own lives. So, ito talagang pagbibigay ng, ng sarili. So, the content of the evangelization, there are four. Una ay conversion. Nag-uumpisa sa conversion, even uh, Pope Francis in his Evangelii Gaudium said the first step of new evangelization is conversion. And the content is, another second content is the kingdom of God. Uh, I got the chance to meet the founder of the largest youth organization in Europe. His name is Bruce Fluitt. And sabi niya, he is a Protestant, pero he is also working with the Catholic Church, with Cardinal Sean Paul. And sabi niya, paano niya papaliwanag sa mga kapataan ang Kingdom of God? Ah, siguro pagka i-govote mo na si Carl Rahner, si Hans Kunz ng Balnazar, o sino sino mga theologians, no? Ratzinger. Pero paano niya papaliwanag sa isang ordinary yung kapataan? Sige nga po sa mga katikista. Pag sinabi Kingdom of God, paano niya papaliwanag? Sabi niya, is it possible to describe or to explain it like this? The kingdom of God is when, is when Christ is the Lord and when, is when you feel He is reigning in your life. Kapag naghari, kapag na narecognize mo si Jesus, na Panginoon mo, at kapag siya ay naghahari sa buhay mo, o ano man, <laughs> As simple as that. Sabi ni Pope Benedict, The kingdom of God is means God exists. God is alive. God is present and acts in the world, in our life. You know? The third content is si Jesus Christo mismo. And the last content, buhay na walang hanggang. Parang yung tanong ng mayamang pinata, paano ko ba magkakaroon ng buhay na walang hanggang? Siguro kung sa parito ng mga kabataan, kaya lang expressed in different language. Yung sinabi ko kanina, affirmation, no? yung love, no? So it's actually the, the bottom line of their, their searches. So, for Pope Francis po, sabi niya, catechesis is echoing the first shout. Echoing, kaya nga catechesis means echoing. So, i-echo natin yung unang sigaw. At ano yung unang sigaw? God's love. Kaya lang sa mga karanasan mga kapataan kasi kapag kagaling ka sa isang mahirap na pamilya, struggling family o broken family, dysfunctional family, parang ang hirap ng maranasan o ang hirap ng maniwala na mahal ka ng Diyos. That's why we need to re-echo and re-echo to resound this that God loves them. Ito daw yung sabi ni Pope Francis, kailangan laging namumutawi sa bibig ng isang katipista. At hindi lang sa bibig kundi sa kanyang so kati cases is reaching out we have to reach out we have to go out of ourselves kati cases is self donation and the content of kati cases itself is God's love expressed in various ways so evangelization primarily begins with this with God's love and we need to, to sabi ni Po Benedict, we need to create an evangelizing and a praying community. Hindi lang puro doctrinal, kundi mahalaga yung experiential also. That they experience God's name. At ito po yung pinakasungusok ko. Catechesis is anamnesis. No? To, what is anamnesis? To remember. Memory. To, to, to remember that God loves us. Ibalik sa pamalayan, ibalik sa ala-ala sa gunitak ng lahat yung pag-ibig ng Diyos. So if we do not feel an intense desire, sabi ni Pope Francis, to share this love, we need to pray insistently that He will once more touch our hearts. Kung ikaw isang katekista na hindi ka naniniwala na mahal ka ng Diyos, wala kang karapatang maging katekista. 
So you got is a response to this call for evangelization. So ang vision po namin is to help building communities. We are not creating communities. At na, na sasabi namin you got communities or you got movement or you got organization. No hindi po. We want to help build community of disciples. Ito yung vision ng PCP to sa ating simbahan. Called by the Father to live in share Christ through the Holy Spirit, journeying with the young people in new evangelization with integral faith formation, sent by the church to evangelize in the margins through the inspiration of Mary, our mother, and Saint Petro Palos of the Resolution. Ito po yung nabuo namin apananaw. And then our mission is to incarnate the loving presence of Christ to the young people through a matured understanding of the faith, shared faith experiences, meaningful sacramental celebrations, and authentic with each other. Ito po yung goals namin, providing yoga centers that would serve as a venue and resource center for education, formation, and renewal. Forming generous, competent, and effective pool of faith facilitators, making available materials for authentic evangelization, and establishing a system for sustainability, network, and collaboration. So ano po yung mga activities, programs ng Yucat Foundation, especially sa Philippines? Una po, may, may mga existing Yucat study groups na po sa mga parishes and communities. Just recently, I visited one university sa Central Luzon State University and they are already organizing and they found it very helpful na magkaroon itong Yucat study group. And now, with the emergence of the Dukat, we highly encourage this one as well. Magkaroon ng mga Dukat study groups. Kasi if uh, uh, the Yucat is about what to know, Dukat is about what to do. Just recently, may natanggap po kami kasi meron kami, active kami sa online. May, na, may natanggap 